Hi everybody, here we go with round nine. Could only be one or two more to go. Uh, first things first, move the counter down because it's one to go first. Now she's sitting pretty over there. She's got a pistol. Um, does she want to trade with anybody? Yes, she's going to ask El Cholo no, she can't ask El Cholo. El Cholo has to trade with her. Um, I believe that's the way you do the trading. Um, so he might have trade with her on the next go. But Wanda um, is just going to use... She's going to move here so she can... That's not a move, by the way, because she's in the same room. She's just going to use three actions to try and take out that zombie by shooting him. She's got a pistol. One dice or one dice to score four or more. So she's got three chances. Missed. Missed. Got him at last. Wanda's killed something. So Wanda's done well there. To get rid of one. And she's now moved up to seven. And seven means she gets one extra action, so she can use that straight away. Um, and she's going to search. <laughs> Never mind, Wanda. Got a pan, so she can sit there and fry an egg. That's it for Wanda. We now move on to El Cholo. Now he did some good stuff last time. He has three actions. Does he do it again? Okay, what he's going to do is he's going to... I'm uh, just trying to think who goes next. He's going to take an action. He's going to trade with Wanda. He's going to give Wanda the pistol he doesn't want the pan. Wanda now has dual weapons, which means when she attacks, she uses two dice now. So that's good for Wanda. So that was his first action. His second action is he's going to move here. And his third action is he's going to search. <laughs> and he's got a sawn off shotgun. He should have uh, actually searched first because he could have traded that with Josh and given him dual weapons but not to worry Josh can do that in his next go and it is Josh's go and Josh is going to trade with El Cholo he's going to give El Cholo crowbar and he says can I have your sawn off shotgun please so he gives him the sawn off shotgun so he too has dual weapons, so he uses four dice to shoot. So one action is to trade, his second action is to move, and his third action is with his sawn off shotguns, is to shoot at these. So he has four dice now to try and take out these three chicks. And he's got to get three or more. And he's got a full house. Four hits. Bang. Whole lot gone. Just like that. And he goes up. Three. So he's now up to nine. And he has got an extra action. Gained. So if he wanted to, he can use that action now. And he's going to use it to trade, to um, search. <laughs> and he's got a shotgun. So he could give that to somebody else at some point. So that was brilliant from Josh. We now have Amy. 
Now Amy has a rifle and a katana. She's going to search in the hope that she gets a scope. Uh, she's only got canned food. Now Amy has five slots. She doesn't want it. She's got a flashlight, which means she can search again. She didn't want that one, so she's throwing that away. Ah, uh, now this takes up the space. It doesn't take up any space. What this is, um, is what you thought was a pile of rags is in fact a zombie. Place one walker in the room you just searched. So she's just searched the room. So a walker has appeared. So she searched. That was her first action. Her second action, she's going to take out this zombie. And she's going to use a katana. So that's two dice to get a four or more. And she's got a six. So the zombie that she's just picked up, she swings her sword round and chops his head off. And she's gone up. Oh no, hold on. She had a. F yeah, that's it. Yeah, she's up to 15 now. So she's getting ever closer to that orange level. So that's two actions. She can't search because she's already done it. So she's gonna she's gonna move down here with these guys. So we now have Nick as the last one to go. He's got a submachine gun. What he's gonna do, he's gonna do one move in there. He's taking a big risk here. And he's gonna use his submachine gun, which is three dice, to try and take out these five zombies. He's got two actions left and he's got to get a five or more. So he's got a six, so one is gone. And his second, his last action, he's got a five and a six, so two are gone. So he goes up another three, so he's up to nine and he's gained an extra action because he's in yellow and he's going to use that to shoot again and he got nothing that time but that wasn't bad and that completes the survivor's turn it's now the zombie phase so here they go and spawn. Is it going to be disastrous for us? It's one runner. So the answer to that question is not too disastrous, no. Would have been better if it was a walker, but it isn't. So that finishes that phase. We now move the counter to El Cholo. El Cholo still got his two machetes and he's sitting over here and he still only has three actions. The first action is to move in, second action is to try and chop the head off this zombie. He's got two dice to get a four or more. Missed, so he uses his third and final action. Got a six, he's done it. Zombie's gone, he moves up to six, so he doesn't get that extra action yet. He's lagging behind everybody else. We now have Josh. Now then, what is Josh going to do? Josh is going... He's going to move one. That's one action. Now you've got three zombies here. Now Josh has got dual weapons. He's got two shorn off shotguns. So he's got four dice to get three or more to wipe these out. And that is what he's going to do. So this is his second action. He's got two fours and a six. All gone. That's his second action. His third action is to reload. 
Um, no, he's not going to bother reloading. Yeah, he might as well reload. And he's going to search just for the hell of it. Got plenty of ammo. Um, it means me re-roll re all dice if you've got pistols, evil twins, or rifle. Well, he hasn't got any of them, but other people have. And he killed three, so he moves up three on the ladder. He's now up to 12. So that is Josh's go over. We now have Amy. She's over here. What she wants to do is take two. She gets an extra action and an extra move. So she's going to use an extra move ability to move there. She's going to use an extra action to move there. So she's got two actions left. And she's now going to go with the katana, which is two dice against that zombie. And hopefully she can hit them both. She's got to get a, uh, a four or more with two dice. So let's see if she can do it. She's got them both. It's five and a six. Swings through, chops them both in half. And she goes up to. So she is now up to 17. This is looking good. We've only got Nick and Wanda to go. So Nick is going to go one, two, third action he's going to take the, that. So he's gained himself five. So he's now shot up to 14. And he has an extra action. And his extra action, because that's a a runner. Uh, what's he got? He's got a submachine gun. He's going to use his submachine gun, which is three dice, to get a five or more to hopefully kill this zombie. He's got it. Zombie's gone. He goes up one more to 15. He says, go over. We've got Wanda left. And don't forget, Wanda can move two slots in one go and she was one free action so that's her one free action that's her second action and her third action take out that so they've done it sailed through it it's looking a little bit dodgy over there when they weren't getting the dice rolls but all of a sudden one round of die brilliant dice rolling and they managed it. So they all survived with only El Cholo getting one wound on him. Now, say if you're going to play this scenario, what I would suggest is go for four survivors or less. As you can see with five, with six, when I played it with six, I say I just went straight through the board no problem. I didn't have as many zombies down the bottom here when I played with six um, because they just wiped straight through. But with five, you know, there's a little bit, a couple of dodgy moments, but with some brilliant dice rolls, they managed to get through. Um, but with four, it would be a hell of a lot harder. And with three, well, probably virtually impossible. But that's what I would suggest three or four survivors luckily no fatties came up uh, let's have a look and see the cards as where the fatties were uh, so there was nothing on any of these for fatties there have been quite a few more goes before they are the fatties no no fatties well don't know where the fatties are but uh, quite a few runs down well, probably would have found by the time they got down here they would have gone into orange so some of the fatties would have turned up but there are there's a abomination so it would have been a quite a while before they actually got a fatty on abomination come up um, but 
I hope you got uh, you enjoyed watching this and got a good idea of how the game plays. Um, I didn't go over the rules because uh, I've already done that on previous videos, um, but I've played it the way I think it should be played. Don't think I've made any mistakes other than the part that I should have spawned some in that manhole cover earlier. Um, that's really the only real mistake I think that I made in this game. So let's have a victory parade for the survivors. So sorry about the really bad lighting. So the person who did the most was Amy. Amy got the most experience, closely followed by Nick, then Josh, then Wanda, and bringing up the rear, only by one, El Cholo. So you can see the disadvantages with El Cholo when he starts with two machetes, is he can only really get in and fight when he's in the same zone as a zombie. A lot of the killing in this game came from um, ranged weapons, really. So it might be a good idea if you do get El Cholo, is to get um, a ranged weapon with him and just take one of the machetes out of his hand. I'll just show you the abomination. So this never turned up. If he had, it was a slightly different game altogether. So he's harder to kill. But um, there you go. So I, I enjoyed playing that. Hopefully I'll be playing another game of this tonight. Uh, I've got my niece and a couple of other people coming over. Hopefully. And we shall play a big scenario with nine boards. Because there's only four boards in this game. This scenario anyway. So we'll be playing a nine boarded scenario with cars and everything. Um, I might do another video later on of a scenario with cars in so you can see how the cars work. But until then, as always, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, especially if you stayed all the way to the end and watched every single video. It's much appreciated. And I'll see you guys on the next video, which probably will be a Hot Toys one. Take care.